We're at the home of the Super Bowl 52 champions, Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here, as it'll be the Dallas Cowboys taking on the Philadelphia Eagles. Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. Kevontae Turpin now from his end zone. And he'll wind up getting a couple extra yards here for his trouble to bringing it out of the end zone as he's down at the 27. to Pollard on second down. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. 11 yards and a Cowboy first down. Well, one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, it could be a long night defensively. No doubt about it because when they are in sync, as we're seeing so far, when that continuity is there, and you can see that they're playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front linebackers, you're exactly right. It could be a very long night for the defense because someone's going to run for some big yardage. On second down, it's Pollard. And he'll make it only to the 43, a gain of two. He's definitely tough to get down. We just saw it right there. But how about what we did see? Pursuit, wrap up. And then the big finish with the tackle. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 41-yard line. Here's Prescott. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds incomplete. Nice progress down the field. Was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. A second down throw for Prescott. Eagle pressure, too much this time. Down he goes. Keely Ringo getting home from his spot in the secondary. They've got a little over 30 yards of turf so far, but a sack not so backwards. And that interrupts the momentum they were building. Good opportunity for the defense to escape this drive before they get to the end zone. On third down, it's Pollard. And good penetration here. He'll get this down. Only going at the 49-yard line. And on their first drive, the offense staying out there. They're going to go for it on fourth. They're on fourth down here. That pass knocked away and incomplete. The Cowboys here unable to convert on fourth down. And this defense holds firm here on the opening drive of the night. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 49. And he can only manage to get a couple, second and eight coming up. Well, they held him to a short gain on that one, and it almost felt like on that first run, they were trying to just throw the jab at him. So how do you stop a jab? Get closer and smother it, just as they did on that last play. Now here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. Now he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Ten yards there and an eagle first down. That was a round run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. Running right, this is game well. Down the right sideline. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Kenneth Gainwell, 39 yards. And the Eagles will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. He's got it, and the Eagles get it 7 2. Touchdown, here's Elliott on to 
kick it away. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And a drive that stalled out last time. Went for it on fourth, didn't get it. How does that translate here? I would imagine momentum's with the defense. Definitely with the defense because anytime anyone goes for it on fourth down, that's telling you as a defense that they, you can't stop us. We don't think that you can. And when you actually do, that may put a little dent in the confidence of the offense the next time they hit the field. Yeah, we'll see if they can bring that pride to the offense this go around. And he'll take this up only to about his 18-yard line. They work now on second and nine. Going to run again here with Pollard. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll set up a third down. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off. A pretty decent game. Looking to throw, Prescott. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. They suspected it. It was a power play up the middle coming at them. And boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. Second down, Pollard again. And he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. The Cowboys on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. They're up against a third and one situation. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted. And it winds up falling incomplete. How about this defense? They came up with a couple big plays in this sequence. And none better than the one right there, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. And how about this one now? In their own territory, a gutsy call. They're going to go for this on fourth and a yard. Now, meanwhile, they go for it on fourth down, and my goodness, incomplete. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out, and that will force a turnover on downs. On first and ten, it's Swift. And then the mover is way forward for about four. Second and six. Well, at the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to that and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. Smith catches left side. They'll wind up getting just a yard, and it brings up third and five now. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. 
Hurts. That's complete. It's Okawabu now. And he'll be stopped well short. Only two yards there, fourth and three. Excellent job there defensively. Gave up the underneath to the tight end on third down, and they made sure that they did their job. Got him on the ground and prevented him picking up a first down. Here's Jake Elliott. Career Jake long, Elliott by the way, for him, 61 yards. So this will be spotted on the midfield logo. It's a 58-yard attempt. And I tell you what, he got it from 58. That had lots of leg behind it. And that flag accepted. But now there is a penalty marker on the field, so let's see what this is about. That'll be Frank, a silly penalty there, trying to block the field goal, and that leads to a fresh set of downs. They'll try the left side with game one. And they've got it in the red zone now, down at about the 19. 48 yards rushing for him now to this point. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. Now second and three. A handoff, Swift running to the left. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. Four yards, the pickup, first down. The Hurt's going to move him around. First down, and they go with Swift again. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Jonathan Hankins in on the stop. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. On second down, Swift. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Just a couple on the ground there, and that's going to bring up third and about six. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D lineman to make the play. On the end around, here comes Smith. Oh, and this one that may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. Swift will get about halfway there as he takes this from the four down to the two. He'll get two out of that run, and it's going to bring up a second and goal. You get down near the goal line, you need to start enlisting the help of all 11 guys on the defense. And that's a nice job there by the cornerback, squaring his shoulders and coming in to make the tackle. One more time with Swift. And he takes it into the end zone across the chalk. Now there is a flag down, but I think that's offsides on the defense. Yeah, I think that's going to stand, partner. Elliott now to add the extra point. And it's good to make it 14 nothing. time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kicks away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. 15 seconds, all that remains for this first half as they come up first and 10. Here's Prescott. That's Ferguson. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. So that changes things. Here's first and 10 all the way up at the 45. They're looking for Lamb, but it's intercepted. Picked by Kevin Byard. And he will be brought down on what will be the final play of this first half. 
So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. A two-touchdown game, 14-0 the score as we get rolling again here in this second half. Well, certainly not what they wanted out of the locker room here as they'll start defensively at the 40-yard line. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at the 41-yard line. Now they'll audible to something else. They will run straight ahead with Swift. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. It's a loss of a yard, so it's back to third and 10. They'll run it here with Smith. And that one covered beautifully. Their defenders stayed home, and they'll stop him behind the line. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. I like the idea to mix it up from time to time, because let's face it, you can't be predictable. But the execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. Officially just 27 yards there on the punt. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And their defense did its job by forcing the punt to start things out. And now, Charles, can the offense get in gear? I think, partner, you can sense him saying, OK, the first half was theirs, but now let's get the momentum back on our side. We forced a punt. Now let's go downfield and score. If we do that, we'll be set up well for this second half. And the defense closes quickly there. And we'll get maybe a yard to the 33. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry. Third and short yardage, Prescott. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And out across midfield, down to the 45. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10. As they've got things rolling on this drive. Now a shotgun handoff to Pollard. Taking it right down Broadway. Touchdown, Cowboys. Tony Pollard. 45 yards, and the Cowboys have cut it back within a score. Well, I guess when you look back on it, it was just a matter of time until he popped a big one like that. And, you know, at halftime, you and I discussed it. They had done a nice job on him in the first half, but there were a couple of occasions where he felt like he might wiggle out of traffic and take it to the house. Finally here in the second half, that got done. Point after up and good. And that'll make our score 14 to 7. The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. Fair catch called for and taken back near the goal line. So that'll come out to the 25. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Still enjoying the lead here in the third quarter, despite their defense giving up that last touchdown. Now they'll see if they can get the equalizer here on this drive. Trying for Brown, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Stephon Gilmore. You got to know as a quarterback, it's going to be tough to outthink this guy in the defensive backfield. He's been at it 11 years now, so he knows all the ins and outs of the position. And he's in the right spot there to come up with the interception. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. 
And the offense moving quickly to the line. Prescott to throw it. And this ball is caught by Lamb. Touchdown, Dallas. Eight yards on the touchdown pass. And the Cowboys take the forced turnover on defense and convert it into six points. The extra point splits the uprights, and we are tied at 14. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. It's a foot race. And they are not going to catch him. He's in. Touchdown, Eagles. That was a special return. And it happened because he's a special returner. He has to have that approval from his special teams coach's head coach to bring it out of the end zone. But let's be honest, a lot of times when they bring it out of the end zone like he did there, they don't have approval. I mean, I think a lot of times they do, but correct me if I'm wrong, sometimes it's just a guy getting a feel, right? Yeah, exactly right. That's the old adage. You sometimes just have to know when to break the rules. And if you do, you take on some responsibility. But he was happy to do so there. So let's try this again after the kick return TD. Here's yet another kickoff. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown. And the last time I looked at repeat that in Charles' defense, they were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. On play action, Prescott. Pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Josh Schwett rushing in and bringing him down to the ground. Dak and the offense still out there. They are going to go for it. Now Prescott on fourth down. He's letting it fly for Cooks. And that is incomplete. What a real head scratcher there. And now possession will go over inside the 15-yard line. There's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Here's a handoff to Swift running left. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Only a yard on the game there as time will run out on this third quarter of play. Three quarters in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Now second and nine. They'll stay on the ground with Swift. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run, not the one that's going to break for big yardage, but he understands the situation. And taking care of the football, paramount, and he got it done. Nursing that slim lead, you're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. The offense on third down tonight, just one for three thus far. This is third and seven. He finds his man complete. That's Watkins. And he'll be brought down well short of the first at about the nine-yard line. So the completion good for just three. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. The kick by Elliott is good. 
So the starting field position was terrific following the surprising turnover on downs, but the end result, only three points. Simply stated, I think you have to look at that as a missed opportunity. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And the complexion of this one has changed a fair amount. That last field goal made it a two-score game, so they need to get points out of this drive relatively quickly. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap, and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. On second down, Prescott again. He'll fire deep downfield for Lamb. It's caught inside the 25. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Throwing Prescott. That ball is caught. It's Gallup. Touchdown, Cowboys. From 19 yards away. And the Cowboys have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. And Howie oh, clanks it off the right upright. And it's no good. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. This will be taken in just shy of the goal line. Fair catch will move this out to the 25. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. After the touchdown we just saw, we have a brand new ball game. And now look at the situation. You've got plenty of time on the clock. Defensively, they have three timeouts. So do you run the football here or do you throw it? I think you have that full conversation with your offensive unit. And you tell them, here's the situation. They've got all their timeouts. So we are not going to play this conservatively. We've got to attack them. We've got to make them use those, gain the ground that we need in order to put this game away. And you think we're just going to run it three times you got no big time. Yeah, I mean, by the way, also the two-minute warning in play, so essentially four timeouts left. They have to be aggressive here. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around a training facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying <laughs> it around campus, right? Maybe the old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. They've got a first and ten as they look to try and finish this one off. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. And taken down just shy of the 40. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. From the 39-yard line, here comes second down at six. Now it looks like he'll throw here. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now. That'll be their second, so one more chance to stop the clock here. And we'll be back. So after that sack, Hurts and the Eagles, tough spot here. Third and long. Looking to throw. And that's caught inside the 35. Devontae Smith, 70 yards. And the Eagles use the big play to extend their fourth quarter lead. Elliott on for the extra point. 
And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And this will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result that he opted for the touchback. Here's first and 10. They'll run with Pollard to begin the drive. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. The Cowboys looking to get going again in a hurry. Now Prescott. And his throw is incomplete. So it looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. Prescott. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout as they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. Here's Dak. He finds his man, Pollard. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. Now Dak. He'll fire deep downfield for Lamb. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked by Kevin Byard. And the Eagles are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. Well, we knew this was going to be a tall order anyway, down two scores with this little time remaining. But that interception puts an end to any hopes that they had. All right, partner, work with me here because obviously scoring a touchdown, getting the onside kick, then going down, scoring again. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. He's on his way. Touchdown, Eagles. A.J. Brown. 